What's up everybody? I hope you're all doing well today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, well, this is a little holiday episode of the show and um, we're going to check out a couple of things. One thing we're going to do is we're going to look at one of my favorite books. Haven't done a favorite books show in a little while. It'll be fun. Of course, we're going to kick it off with a You Draw It. You get to follow along with me and draw something fun. Now, today's is going to be a very simple geometric uh, interpretation of a character we all know. You may notice I'm wearing a little scarf today. I've also got a little lozenge in my mouth. Yesterday, if you watched the show, you noticed my voice was starting to really go. Well, I just have a really sore throat today. Uh, don't worry, I don't have COVID or anything. We haven't left the house since March of last year. Uh, but just, you know, a lot of talking, a lot of live shows, a lot of meetings. This is what happens. Your voice goes. Anywho, I hope you're all doing well out there. Hope you're ready to do some drawing. You're going to need a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, whatever it is that you need. And um, draw along with me in the first 10 minutes or so. And then we'll follow it up with favorite books. And we'll end it, as usual, with Animal and Activity, where you will suggest for me an animal. And I will draw it. And this animal should be doing something funny or silly or unexpected. Okay? So if you're ready to go for that, then we're in good shape. Uh, by the way, what did one snowman say to the other snowman? Hey, do you smell carrots? <laughs> Alrighty, why don't we do some drawing? How's that sound, everybody? Okay, let me say hi to some folks in the chat. Alrighty, let's see. We have Flynn, RB, Clever, Ian, um, Stephen and Rui Kui, uh, Kui Chen, nice to see you. Uh, oh, it's Zoe, hi Zoe. And Chris Lena and Sam Peterson. And um, boy, this is great. Hey. Hey, do y'all hear that? You know why that chime just played? Because it is Zoe's birthday. And I wanna say happy birthday to you, Zoe, and thank you for watching the show. Hope you enjoy the drawing. All right, well, why don't we get right to it. Now, to do these drawings, everybody, you know you have to be able to do three simple things. A straight line, okay, a zigzag, right? And a, how about this, curvilinear line. Ooh, did you hear that sound? Could be a C curve, could be an S curve, could go this way, could go that way. If you can do those things, you are good to go. Uh, let's see. Having technical difficulties with your account. Um, is it something having to do with me? Gosh, I hope not. I hope everything's fine with the show. Let me know in the chat, folks, if there's any technical problem with the show. I want to make sure I address that. Why don't we get started with our drawing in the meantime? We're going to do a straight line from right to left or left to right. Up to you. Doesn't matter. Okay. How long is that line? i make it about an inch and a half on your page if you like. I'll give you plenty of space to draw. And we're going to make a little rectangle here. So we're going to come up a little ways like that. And same on the other side. See that? Now, how long are these lines? Make sure you do some comparative measuring. We like to do that here on the show. Comparative measuring. All right. Now, this is, I'd say, hmm, maybe about a quarter of the length of this first line we drew. That sounds about right. Now we'll just connect those two like that. There's our rectangle. Okay, the rectangle of which I spoke. Now I want you to take this line here on the left, this vertical line, and carry it up a little farther, a little longer than it already was drawn. See that? About that far. And then on this side here, we're actually going to come from this corner and we're going to angle up. Okay, we're going to draw a longer line up to about here. You want to make yourself a little dot to aim for? Sure, why not? So we'll do that. Drive, drive it on up there like that. Vroom. How's that look? And then we're just going to connect these two. Connect these two lines. I'll pause for a moment while everybody catches up. Make sure your drawing looks about the same. And check the chat. Make sure everything's good on this side here. All right. Digging the funky beat. That's cool, Chris. Glad everything's good. You can hear some music. That's great. Um, looks and sounds great. Okay. Thanks, Shannon. Just want to make sure, right? Okie dokie. Now, I am now going to make a little diagonal line this way. 
Okay, check this out. It's gonna come out about that far. See that, it went past where we started. It went past where we started. There it is. And then I'm just gonna come on back here. Zing, like so. Look at that. All right, why don't we just carry on now with the vertical lines, okay? I wanna take the length of this line. I'm gonna look at this and say, okay, how long is that? How long is that? And then I'm gonna draw a line that's the same length as this, starting where that one ends. Check it out, just like that, bam. That looks pretty good, pretty nice. All right, might make it just a hair longer. I think I'll make it a hair longer. That feels better to me. Now over here on the right, same deal. Make it just as long. We're doing some symmetry here, gang. Symmetry is fun. Everybody likes symmetry, right? By the way, as usual, let me know if I speak too fast. Sometimes I go a little too fast what? with these drawings. All right. This is going to be a 45 degree angle. Check it out. 45 degree angle. Does it have to be exactly 45 degrees? No, don't worry about that. Over here, same deal. Zing. And then here come two lines next to one another. Da dang, da ding. Look at that. Right in the middle. See those nice little lines? Leaving a little space down there. I think you know what we're up to now, don't you? I think everybody knows what we're up to. Now, right from here, I'm going to do another sort of a 45 degree angle. It's going to come down a little longer, about like that. Same on this side. Kablam. What do you think about that? Now, I'm going to be really close to this line here, really about over here. See this? Right? Pretty tight in there. And I'm going to come down about halfway, halfway. Like that. Bounce on the other side for some symmetry, same deal, same deal. Okay, just like so. And now I'm gonna follow this angle here. I'm gonna try and create a line that's the same angle as that. And I'm just gonna come down about that far. All right, same deal over here. Look at that. So we go down and in and down and in. And these are mostly parallel right here, okay? And now we have some zigzag action going on. Ready for this? So right in the middle here, I'm gonna go zig, zag. Okay, zigzag time. And you see the zigzag I made? Well, guess what? I'm gonna make another one down here, okay? Right underneath it. Zig, zag, see that? Aha. Uh -huh. And then here where this line ends, I'm gonna move it right up to here, and it's gonna have a little overlap there. See where there's an overlap from that other line? And up to here too. Make sure there's an overlap there. Okay, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Now you know what, as I look at this, if I were you, you might wanna make this a little higher up, a little higher up like that. I think that's better. But again, it's not the end of the world. Don't sweat it. Now, since we're doing a lot of zigzags, why don't we just keep that zigzag theme going? Because I'm going to do a zigzag here. I'm going to come over to this side and do it again. Aha! Aha! And right in line with the top of that zigzag, I'm going to make a little line. See that? Over here, a little line. Excelente. All righty. And then I'm going to be doing some C curves. Check this out. Let me just zoom in so you can see this. I'm going to come straight down and then do a C curve. Straight down, curve it in. Straight down, curve it in. Aha! Look at this. What are we missing? Oh, look up here. We need a circle, don't we? A little circle right there. I like how that hat folds behind. See that? How it folds behind? That's fun. And then right here, just a little line coming down like that. And right here on the edge, check this out, we're going to go down and just do a couple more. See that? Down and just do a couple more. Holy Christmas. <laughs> that was a pretty fun Santa drawing. 
pretty fun. Nice and geometric using some zigzags, some straight lines here and there. And all of a sudden, look at what you've got. Look at what you've got. Now make this drawing your own. Color it in if you like. Add some rain during the background. Add some, hit some snowy hills. Maybe a few trees. Look, if you want to do a tree, just do a line. And just do some zigzags. Go big. Big. Start to get a little smaller. A little smaller. A little smaller. And there you go. A little tree in the background. And give it something to sit on. Just do that. There's something you could do. You want to do some snow? Just do this. One, two, make an X. Kind of a well, sort of a squashed X. A little line down the middle like that. You want to get fancy? Put some dots at the end there. Why not? Why not a dot, right? Just do little, little ones like that. Okay? Whatever you like. It's your drawing. So make it you. Make it yours. Customize it. What do you think about that, gang? I hope you enjoyed that. Was that fun? Woohoo! Okay. Now, it is time for favorite books. Favorite books. And today's favorite book is going to be a pretty nifty one. This is Twas the Night Before Christmas. And um, whether you like Christmas or not, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, doesn't matter. I'm selecting this book to show you today because of the pencil drawings. This is a drawing show, and I want to show you what's possible when you really know how to use a pencil like a pro. And this gentleman here, Mr. Matt Tavares, sure knows what he's doing with pencil. And what I like about this is that he uses pencil, but he also uses graphite dust. If you've never heard of graphite dust, look it up. But graphite dust is what you think it is. It's graphite in dust form. And you can sprinkle it on your on your paper and get these really soft effects and these tones that are really even. Right? You can push them around and if you know what you're doing, you can really control them and get these fantastic values in your drawings. Now, this book is just full of gorgeous graphite drawings, pencil drawings. And what I'd like to do is just bounce over to my other screen here and show you some details of what this looks like when you draw on a really textured paper. You ever think about what happens when you draw on different textured papers? Sometimes paper is really flat, has no texture at all. Sometimes it's really bumpy, really grainy, okay? And what he's doing is taking advantage of the texture of the paper to get these really nice tones that are interrupted by the texture of the paper. You can see that pattern that is present throughout the entire drawing, right? And I really want to, I think this is fun, I'm going to show you what the drawing looks like when you're looking at it from a distance. So just check this out. And then up close. All right, now look at this. Now here is what it looks like on the right. All right, I'll just zoom in, zoom out for a moment so you can really see that. And then look at this on the left. This is what's going on with that texture that's in the paper. Look what it does to the graphite. Some of the graphite sits in there nice and deep. That's those darker tones if you press down with a pencil. But if you just graze over the surface of the paper really lightly, you're going to get lighter tones. And so you see how rich those values are in the drawing that he's made over here on the right. Yeah? Where you have a full range from darkest darks all the way to the white of the paper. And I haven't talked to Matt about this, but I would bet good money that in order to get these white areas, some of them, He's using an electric eraser. Did you know that those exist? You can get electric erasers. They're really tiny. You turn them on and you can just hold them down to the paper and they'll turn around really fast and buzz and they'll erase out a little area and you can basically draw with them while you're erasing your graphite. And it just looks so nifty. So this is Twas the Night Before Christmas by Matt Tavares. I believe it's out of print, but you can get used copies of this book uh, all over the place. I got this book for just $10, $10 a few years ago when I saw it at a used bookstore up in Asheville, North Carolina. And I had to buy it because the pencil drawings were so exquisite and I just love looking at them. So there you go, that's my favorite book for today and I really wanted to show you that. 
And as you know, I've got many, many, many more books uh, behind me there on the shelf, right? They are just, whew, they're a lot. And I promise you in 2021, I'm gonna get that big um, little Nemo book off the shelf and show you a few drawings from that. That book is enormous. It's uh, the biggest book I own. It's, um, I believe, 14 by 22 inches uh, in, in dimension. So that's really something. Oh, Kidoki, it is now time for us to move it on to the animal and activity game. Now, the animal and activity game is where, of course, you, oh, hey, 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 what's that sound? I hear something fun. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that? It is time, I believe, for the appreciation station. So I think we need to do that. And for today, we are appreciating Golden. Golden, thank you for watching the show. And I just want to quickly throw out a little appreciation station mentioned to you and mind you of the time when I was trying to get into the fashion business in Paris with my egg carton and cheesecloth apparel line. Now, nobody else would front me a dime for that project, but you were kind enough to give me some money. And even though you did lose out on a few hundred thousand dollars after that investment went south and nothing worked out, I just want to thank you for being a friend. You are the only one who believed in me. So thank you, Golden. Alrighty, now it's time for the animal and activity game, which means you're going to have to suggest to me an animal doing something funny, something strange, something weird, something unexpected. And I will go ahead in the time that we have remaining and I will draw that for you because that's what I do. It's part of my job here on this show. Got to do that animal and activity game. And what I have to do is use my light blue color to do my sketch. So I've got that ready to go. And all I need now from you are suggestions in the chat. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, thanks. Golden says you're welcome. Golden, I hope you got that money back. I'm, I, you're a very smart person. I'm sure you got it all back, every penny. I apologize for my, my very bad idea, but I just don't know much about fashion. Um, let's see. Samuel says, how about a snowman tanning? That's a funny idea. Um, a reindeer twister. What is a reindeer? Oh, you mean like a reindeer playing twister, the game that you play? Um, a hamster throwing a javelin. That's a cute one. Hamsters are so hard to draw, but I think I could pull that off. Penguin surfing a geyser. That's really interesting. Um, an elk decorating a tree. A zebra sledding. A lemur skating. A reindeer screwing a new red light bulb in its nose. That's a really fun one, Samuel. I like that. Polar bear doing parkour on ice blocks. That's cool, but pretty complex. I still, I think it's a neat one though. Well, as I look at these, I think um, the hamster throwing a javelin is a fun one. So Steven, you got it. And here we go. So I'm thinking about what it looks like I could have the before or the after. It could be about to throw it or it could have just thrown it. So I think I'll do the before. Thinking about that line of action here. And uh, Gonna have that arm up. That little hamster hand holding that javelin. Actually gotta have the arm back a little further like that. I think that makes more sense. So up like this. We gotta get that javelin back. And get that hamster a little bit more 
yeah, more action like that. And I'm going to just take, I know I rarely do this, but because time is short, I'm actually going to pull that in like that. Um, there we go. And now I got to get that funny little hamster face. Hamsters just, it's like they're sort of a cross between a mouse and almost, almost not a cat, but it's just hard for me sometimes to get that face to look hamsterish as opposed to like a squirrel or whatever. And I, I have no excuse because we own a hamster. So I should, I should just be better at that, but it's not easy, gang. It's not easy. And there's that little hamster hand. So he's getting ready to throw. I'm gonna give him some funny like hamster athletic shorts and a tank top like the, the Olympics here. We really go for broke on the stretch on these legs. I think that's gonna be better. So he's ready. Pushed back and ready to go, ready to throw that, hurl that javelin. We'll knock that back a little bit. Okay. And grab a darker color and see what we can do here. Oh, by the way, I'm still having this weird thing happen with my Wacom tablet. If you watched the show yesterday, you know that I'm having some trouble with my tablet where sometimes if I try and draw a line quickly, it just makes like a little straight line instead of respecting like the the angle and direction in which I drew, it's just a frustrating situation. So bear with me as I try and get through this because I'm not going to be quite as zippy as I sometimes am. So I'm trying to avoid that happening. There we go. Whoops, let's get that a little fatter. Yeah. Our little hamster is named Sniffles. Anybody out there a hamster owner? Anybody like hamsters? Sniffles has been a very sweet little companion for us during this bizarre time we're all living through. And I don't know if other hamsters do this, but she will snuggle with us at night um, she'll just sit in someone's lap and basically go to sleep, which is the sweetest thing. And I just haven't seen other hamsters do that, but you know, I assume she can't be the only one. There must be other hamsters that do that. I just haven't met them. But I'm sure they're out there. All right, now we're gonna come like this. We're gonna go across and in and out. Whoa, try again, there we go. So there's that javelin. Now that I think about it, you know what? The way you hold a javelin is actually the other way. You go like this. Yeah, that's correct. See that? Sometimes you, you realize when, once you've drawn something, hey, that's not right, right? And there is a hamster ready 
to throw that javelin. Looking all sporty. Put a little stripe on the stripe on the pants. What do you think about that? Why not, right? That just makes it funnier. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that, gang. Thanks for hanging out. There is the finest, uh, final, finest, finished, finished final drawing. And uh, everybody, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the holiday season. Um, I'm off next week. No more drawing shows until the new year. So everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thank you again for watching. Tell your friends. Tune in in the new year. We'll do more of these. Of course, I really appreciate you all. And um, take care. Ciao for now. See you next time.